Hey, welcome back. I want to talk to you about gradient text. We all know how to do gradient backgrounds, right? On a section or a column or anything like that. You just click on the particular section column editing, you go to gradient and you go in and add in your gradient color and away you go with your angles and locations. And if you want to make them like solid lines or, you know, whatever you want to do, you, there's, there's loads of funky stuff you can do. What about the text? Because we end up then making the text like a block color, white, black, red, blue, green, yellow, whatever. Can we make this into a gradient as well? Uh, and guess what? You can, and it's so simple, it's scary. Right, let's just put this as a white background just so it stands out. This is gradient text, don't worry about the font. I just picked a blocky one so I could really make it stand out as to what we're doing here. What you need to do, okay, is, and the link is in the description, is go to this website here. This is a CSS text gradient generator. Okay, I'm not going to say, hey, look, I invented this secret CSS code. No, this is something from a website and the link is there. And I love what they've done here. What you do, don't worry about the text at the top. Okay, don't go, well, that's not my text. Don't worry about that. What you're going to do is go over here and you're going to pick your colors. Now, I've already picked in FF0000 uh, for red and 000 FF for blue. Okay, you pick whatever colors you want. You can either select it like this or you can just go in here and just type them. Okay, however you want to do it, right? And now you get a preview up there. I could even do this and go with like 43% and go like, and now I have like a solid line. So I can even be very specific at what point it stops and starts. Pretty, pretty cool, right? Or I could just be like I had it before, just let it blend in kind of roughly about there. So we've got a bit of a blend effect. Now what it does is it generates the code for us right over there. At the minute, we've got linear, we could go radial, and there's lots of other styles, okay? We're gonna leave it as linear for now, and we're gonna leave the position as right. In fact, we'll go with top right, no, we'll leave it as right, let's leave it as right. Now, if I scroll down, you do get some examples. So if you click them, it will put those colors and codes in. So you've got some really funky stuff going on here. You could pick something like that, and it will give you all the lines of code. Let me just do it, let me just show you what happens. So when I click that, Look, we got all these colors coming through. Rainbow effect. Let's just go back to what I had before. So this is how it looks when you come. And let me just put these back to FF, double and double uh, FF. All right, that's how easy it is. All right, and we're not gonna change, you know, no, let's just put this back to there, okay? Now let me take this code, literally like that. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take the code. I'm gonna go over to my lettering over here. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna go to advanced. And I've given it a, a class name of grad text. You don't have to do this, but I think it's good practice to do that. I've called it grad text. I'm gonna to go to my custom CSS and I'm gonna type, type dot grad text, dot grad text like that. I'm gonna do the curly open bracket, hit return so it gives me the closing curly bracket. And now I'm just gonna paste the code. Remember, it gave us the code literally there for you. Let's just paste that in. Look at that. We've now got our gradient effect. I'm gonna go back over here now just to make a point. I'm now gonna shrink this to kind of start more like that. Let's take that code because it's now slightly modified. Go over here and we are going to just get rid of all of that like so and then hit paste and there we go. Totally different gradient effect going on there and this is what, it's gonna undo it so we're back to that one. I think this is so cool. So this is free and easy to use and now you could have I mean, I mean, look, this, this is crazy, okay? Let's just put a gradient back on the background as well, again, okay? Just because, let's just do those colors and we'll go with a, we'll go with a bright bluey color and we'll just blend it a little bit like that. So you could now have, I mean, that's a bit, that's a bit stupid what I've done there, isn't it? Let's just flip it a little bit. In fact, that's even worse, what am I doing? What am I doing, Imran? Stop messing around. But you could now do like, you could have like a double gradient effect going on there, okay? None of that was good, was it? But by using that CSS generator code, we get the code, we stick it in, and we now have some gradient text free to use for you, me, and everybody else. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'm Imran Web Squadron, helping you with Elemental and WordPress. You take care.